At this time, I'm asking Mr. Daniel Sims to allow these 19 people in so that they can assist with the counting, just as the Democrats are in counting. Now, Mr. Sims has said that there are COVID rules that he cannot break, and therefore he's not allowing these people in. If that is the case, let's take 10 or 12 or 15 Democrats out and let 10 or 12 or 15 or 19 Republicans in. These, these fine people have been on a rooftop in the sun. Uh, they are well behaved, well groomed, uh, all uh, cooperative and patient. And they merely want their opportunity to help count and watch the counting. And everyone in this country now knows that overnight, 200,000 votes were suddenly appeared in the city of Detroit. That's a lot of counting. And those, if there's 19 Democrats down there that are counting, it's only fair that 19, now the number looks to be about 25, should be permitted to go down and count just like the Democrats. So I'm asking you, Mr. Daniel Sims, Please allow these Michigan residents to come in at this time. It's now 3.26 p.m. and many of them have been up here two hours. I called them and I asked them to come up. And they, and they took days out of their working schedule. They, they, they took a half day, a day to assist with the democracy of this country. That's right. That's right. And now they're being told they got to wait on a rooftop because because there are COVID rules and it doesn't make sense. The building is acres and acres. They all have face masks. And if there's 15 or 20 Democrats, then 15 or 20 Republicans should be let in, alternately at least. Exactly. They all have masks on. None of them appears to be sick, and nor have you asked them if they're sick. You could simply ask each one, do you have any COVID symptoms? No. 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 Do any of you have, have you, any of you been with anyone in COVID, that has COVID in the past 24 hours? No. no. 